you know, you never know what may happen, you know, injuries, you never know, like, especially this year with COVID. And, you know, we did a great job with the other guys coming in, stepping up, like Roby, you know, Skipper, all them guys like that who coming in and helping us out big time on, especially um, just on first and second down. And I said, uh, apparently, you know, eventually we get the third down, you know, just trying to get, you know, in the quarterback face and stuff like that. So, um, I mean, it just, it's one of them things where, you know, it's like next man up mentality. And you know, I think them guys came, like, like I said, the guys that I mentioned, they come, they came in and stepped up big time. And, you know, hopefully we keep, um, we can keep getting that, you know, the guys attacking the, um, this work as, as the NFL and being a professional, hopefully they can keep doing that, taking that next step. One last one for you. Uh, last week, you guys got a lot more pressure on Phillip than you did first time around. Uh, what were you guys able to do uh, in terms of getting more pressure? Uh, and is that something you think you can carry forward? It's one of the things where you just got to trust what the block that you're getting. You know, I can speak on myself. Um, you know, um, last time we played these guys, you know, I was trying to be too nosy. You know, early and down, you know, I was trying to look for the ball, you know, trying to see what they're doing in the backfield other than, you know, just reading to man them lined up over. And I think we did a great job of that as we went back and watched film, you know. We was being, we was able to transition faster because we were just trusting what that um, the whole line was giving us, and you know just you know just what the coaches, the position the coaches putting us in, you know to make sure we can affect the quarterback more. So you know I just just basically just trusting the game plan. Thank you, uh, Jim. Jeffrey, I guess how much more are you noticing? You're getting extra attention in games these days. You know teams double teaming you, and, and what's the challenge uh, in dealing with that? I mean, I, I know I'm I'm going I'm like I mean it's 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 simple you know it's just like you got to do your job I know I'm gonna get the double, you know um, but when I don't get the double I got to take advantage of it and that just by winning my one on one, but you know it just to me it's gonna be the techniques um, you know when when I know I'm getting double or if I'm if I hear O line, you know calling out one of the keys that I know that I'm getting double on I just got to hold in there and uh, you know keep my pad level down. And just just help me out. I mean, help the team. I have the defense out because I'm getting double. You know, that's free the linebackers up, especially if they're not coming off the double team. So, I mean, that's part of the game. That's part of playing three technique. That's just part of playing defense alignment. And that's just what I do. So, you know, it's, and the main thing is just not to get frustrated. Uh, uh, not not to get uh, frustrated. So, and I mean, that's pretty much what it is. You know, I know I'm gonna get double. You know, probably a lot. So, um, it's just early in my career and. You know, I heard it from a coach and so far on. I mean, just be prepared to, to play with better technique. That's it. And, uh, and and how do you get yourself psyched up to play week in and week out? You seem like one of the more intense guys and, and get worked up some during the games. How, how does that come about? I mean, you have to do something to yourself mentally to get yourself there, or is it just the, kind of the competitive competitiveness comes out when kickoff starts? Um, honestly, I just wake up with it. You know, it's just that um, that fire in me, the knowing that game day, I get another opportunity to be out there with my brothers and get ready to go to war. Um, and that's just how I attack the game, football. You know, I play with so much passion. I play with that energy that I'm going to fly around, want to make plays. And, you know, I feel like if I have that type of energy in me that I could, you know, uh, give out to my teammates. And I think that type of energy, you just pass it along to other guys, you know, even – you know, like some days you don't feel like coming to work, but you you see that energy coming from you get you getting that energy from your other teammate that you know, let, let, you know you we here let's, so let's work and that's just how it is. You know, you have to give off energy. Sometimes you have to give energy. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. I wake up with the, just that fire, knowing it's game day. And I'm just ready to go to war. Uh, Paul. Hey Jeff, what have uh, what have you thought of Tier Tart as he's been in there the last month, and and uh, what have you thought about the progress he's made since he showed up? Man, a guy who that we know um, have a lot of talent, a guy who you know and, and for sure want to be better um, each game in and out, um, who want to take you know want to learn, always asking questions, or you know just a guy who you know from the first time he got in especially with conditioning and, you know, up to now, you know, who getting meaningful uh, snaps on the field with, you know, in big time games, especially like the last couple of games we had. So, you know, a guy who just keep taking that next step in the games and, you know, like I said, 
he one of the guys who came in, especially like when merch went down or whoever it is, go down, he come in and help out the defense. That's just that next man up mentality. And, you know, he hopefully he could keep taking the next step in his game, helping us out on defense. Uh, Terry? Jeffrey, you talked about your own energy and all, but uh, Coach Brable is the guy that seems to bring a lot of energy and passion to what he does. Can you think of a particular instance or two where he's done something or said something maybe out of the norm that that stuck with you guys to get to get his point across and motivated you? Um, I, I can't really just think of something right off the back of my head, but the same, but it's it's like. Every game, you know, every day you're going to hear something that just sticks with you, that Brave says, or or he just motivates you because, you know, he, he played the game. He know what it kind of – he know what it take, you know, to win. He know what it take to, you know, play with so much, you know, passion and heart. And, you know, just a guy who – and I think it helped me out a lot, uh, especially coming in as a rookie last year, to see it coming from a young coach who haven't been out the game that long and, you know – especially through my rehab process, you know, trying to take the coach from him up to, to now. I think that helped me out so much, having a young coach like Coach Rave himself. And um, when I say young, I mean, as in, you know, how many years he's been um, a head coach. So, I mean, it just, uh, I think it's helpful out a lot. I mean, it helped me out a lot. Um, so, I mean, I, I just can't think of just that one specific thing he didn't say right off the back of my head. But like I said, it's a lot of stuff he didn't say around or to me that helped me out a lot. To, um, take take my next uh, take that next step in this um, in this game. So, uh, Gentry, yeah, Jeff, for the for the defenses that have to go about stopping the Titans' offense, how, how difficult do you think that is physically and mentally when you know you're going to see Derek 20, 25, 30 times, and, you, and you're facing a unit that your physical on the edge just kind of wants to wear you out. I mean, just it's kind of what we get ready to face this week. You know, knowing that. A team who um, we believe in the run, and the Browns for sure believe in the run, especially having two great running backs and um, two running back they have. So it's like, you know, with, with Derry, you know, I'm sure a team, as, as we talk about it and as we see, teams get wore down, especially later in the game. Not like you hear, um, like people saying, not early in the game, but, you know, as you see the third and fourth quarter, D linemen start to get tired. You know, the um, linebackers and um, the secondary. They, they tired of coming up and trying to hit this big back. And, you know, it just, I've been, honestly, it, it's it's fun to see on the sideline, especially as you see, like, Derry breaking these run, just because, you know, him so him being so strong and stiff arming people and stuff like that. But, you know, I think with all defense, for sure, especially coming into this game, I know we're going to swarm. We're going to make sure we get it all hats to the ball. And, you know, that's what we, you know, we up for the challenge. And that's what we're here for, especially playing defensive line. That's the control that front and stop the run. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much what it is. I mean, I, like I said, facing the offense kind of, kind of similar to all this week, just stop the run first. So, you know, knowing that, that the Titans offense, that, that you guys, they want to play that way. How important has it been for you guys to, to get better recently at getting off the field to give them that possession time? Man, this is one of the things we talk about. I mean, it's just not – about how you know because when we on it when we talking about defense you know we want to get the ball back to our offense but we know what type of offense we got we know if we get the ball to our offense we're going to score but you know that's kind of not our motive i think i don't think i think our motive is to play tennessee titan defense and that's you know win on first and second down get off the field on third down and i mean i don't think it's just none much none more than that it's just win on first and second down you know, let's get off the field on third down, get a sack, get a um, turnovers, you know. I wish we get, you know, like I said, that's just basically what it is, you know. Of course, I think we're going to get more turnovers. We're going to be able to create more turnovers to put our offense in a better situation, you know, instead of starting probably on the 20-yard line. We can put them on the 40, on their 40-yard 40 line, stuff like that. So, I mean, anything, we can get more turnover to help them out. Starting to run tight on time, but I want to get to these last three. Uh, Teron? Yeah, Jeff, it, it looked like uh, against the Colts, your, your sack, the, the secondary helped, you know, buy some time for you to get to the quarterback. How much would you say, you know, that back end is starting to help the front end and, and you guys are kind of working in conjunction to improve your defense? No, that's, that's the whole part of whole part of, about playing defense, you know. In order for to have good coverage, you know, you have to, especially with the quarterback, 
got to move around in the pocket. You know, defense doing the defense line doing their job by getting the quarterback off his spot or getting in the face of the quarterback, messing up the timing. You know, if the corners holding their guys, you know, tight or whatever it may be, you know, making the quarterback, you know, uh, pump fake the ball because he see a corner or someone in the receiver face, you know, of course we're going to get more sex up front. But like I said, it just everybody on the defense side doing, doing their job, but helping the man out the next next to him by doing their job better. And they're just playing, um, you know, as a whole defense, you know, playing together as a defense, doing every, doing our job so we can help the next man do their job a little better. And as like I said, the, they, the um, secondary did their job pretty good, you know, by having tight coverage, whatever it may be. And, you know, eventually, I mean, evidently I don't want who end up getting a sack that place, you know. And, you know, eventually, you know, like I said, we're going to get more turnovers just by me getting in the pocket, get my hands up or whatever it may be to get an interception on the back end. So we all just working together, you know, to be better on the defense. Uh, last one, Joe Rushman. Hey, Jeff, uh, just actually back to Derek Henry real quick for you. Uh, as a guy who works on his craft, just wondering from your vantage point, watching Derek work on, you know, catching the ball as hard as he has done that, you know, going back to camp, what, what have you seen from him in that regard? And, you know, I guess, you know, it, it, does he kind of set him an example on this team in terms of, you know, trying to work work on deficiencies and maximize? I mean, as far as I uh, saw since I've been here, Derek won probably the hardest work on his team. You know, as, as you see on game day, you know, he, he won the ball. He wanted to be the best back in the league. You know, to me, he, ought to, uh, he is the best back in the league. So, I mean, it just goes back from how hard he trained his offseason I, I mean, everyone follow Derrick on uh, Instagram. You see the type of workouts he's going through. You see him catching the ball. You know, he, you see him running uphill, stuff like that. That just shows how much work he put in, how much it pays off on game day. And not just on game day, you know, he putting that work in on in practice. You know, he doing, I, I, you, you look over there. No, I really don't look over there that much because I'm doing my job in my position group drills. But, you know, you take it, you end up getting a, like a 30 second break. You look over there. You know, he's still just catching the ball with his coach, you know, even when he's not in the game. I mean, in practice or whatever it may be. So it's just little things like that that I feel like that you could do to take your um, game to the next step, and that's what Derrick's doing. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate your time.